Hello everyone, this is Michael Williams. It is so wonderful to see you all again. Hello Stephanie, uh, good to see you as well. I saw that you uh, did a Periscope this morning and was looking forward to checking it out, so we'll talk uh, with you about that later. But I'm very excited to continue uh, these, these scopes, these Periscopes. And what I'd like to do is just take a minute or so to allow people to begin joining because I had to go ahead and change uh, my channel. So there's still some people that are shifting over. But what we're going to be talking about today and continuously is how you can conquer your fear of public speaking or speaking live and how you can start presenting more clearly and confidently, more clearly and confidently especially live. So there are some things that happen to us when we're live. Things like forgetting what we're going to say, going blank, rambling on and on, right? Uh, going off topic, talking about ourselves. Nothing wrong with talking about yourself. In fact, sometimes it's very good to give personal examples, but it depends on the kind of periscope that you have, right? If you want to share and you want to help your audience and you want to teach, then you'll want to focus a little more on your audience, right? So we're going to be talking about all those things and a lot more. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to make sure that I get your input and your feedback on things that you'd like to hear me talk about as someone who's been speaking for many years, as someone who's been helping people speak well, people who, who struggle with their speech. Maybe they speak too fast. Maybe they get very anxious. Maybe they stutter when they get very anxious. Maybe they just have a fear of speaking in public and they speak well all the other times but when they have to speak in public, all of a sudden they freeze up. Some people have said that they actually faint, they have to go to the bathroom, all kinds of fun stuff like that. So in these periscopes, we're going to be dealing with those. We're also going to be dealing with something that's really my favorite, and that is how can you speak with greater authority? What does that even mean? Right? How do you speak with greater authority? How do you speak more authentically? How can you be yourself? How can you be yourself? How can you speak with accuracy? Right? If you're saying stuff that's inaccurate, then people are not going to trust you. So we're going to deal with all of those things. And so some of the things that we're going to, to start off with and some of the things we already have talked about are the core reasons why people struggle with fear of public speaking. We've already talked about those and I want you to go ahead and visit my page which is Present With Power. Present With Power, it's in my bio. Go ahead and visit that page and there'll be a link there where you can go and watch the previous scopes. Okay, But in this periscope we're going to actually begin to talk about how you can speak with a greater authority. And these things are going to kind of loop around and deal with some of these other issues like how do I keep from going blank? How do I keep from rambling on, right? So the reason that we're going to start with how to speak with greater authority is because it'll help you in all these other areas. And then we'll come back and talk about those in future periscopes. Now, if you have questions, if you have questions or comments, save your questions for just, just a little bit and I'm going to actually pause and ask you if you have any questions. If you have comments, please let those fly. Let those fly now. But why do you think it's important to speak with authority, especially when you're live or even if you're recording a video? And what does it mean to speak with authority? So here's a question for you. When I say speak with authority, what do you think I'm talking about? But when, you know, when I say that, what comes to mind? Speak with authority. What are some of the words or thoughts that come to your mind when I say, speak with authority? So while you're responding to me, let's just think about this. Let's just say you're watching someone uh, live, right? Either on your phone, on your computer, or, or live, and they are timid, or they are acting like they don't know what they're talking about or they're starting and stopping, or they're going really fast. So when people are speaking like this, how does it make you feel? Yes, Stephanie, so like you have experience with your content. Very good, 
Very good. So when you speak with authority, then it projects, it gives people the, the, the image that, hey, this person has some experience with what they're talking about. They know what they're talking about. So when you see someone, when you experience someone who's timid and they're, they're not quite sure of what they're saying, how does it make you feel? Do you trust them? Would you follow them? Would you listen to them? Would you take action on what they're saying if you don't feel like they know what they're saying? Right? When they're not speaking with a sense of authority? No, you probably wouldn't. So the question is, how can you begin to present your information, wherever it is, on Periscope or off Periscope, with greater authority. So I want to get into, and this is going to be kind of an ongoing series, so I won't be able to cover all of it today because I want to keep these a little short, but what does it mean to speak with authority? What does authority mean? Authority, if you look at the word authority, there's another word embedded in that word. What is it? Look at the word authority or authoritative. What's the word that you see embedded in that word authority? What do you think it is? Someone tell me what you think you see in that word authority. The word author, right? The word author. You see the word author. So if you go and you do some research on this concept, this idea of authority, you see the word author in there. An author is someone who's the originator or a promoter of something. So when something originates, when it starts with you, you are the author of it. When you're an authority on something, you are the person who's done the research, you've developed it, you've designed it, or you're an expert in it. You know it. You don't have to read off of a paper. You don't have to read notes. It comes from in here. It comes from in here. Some of you have heard me talk about internalize your presentations rather than memorize them. We're also going to talk about things that you can do, in fact, why you should present live without notes or with very few notes. It has to do with you projecting authority, right? If I'm an authority on something, do I have to look at notes? Well, sometimes, yeah, if I have a lot of data, if I want to keep track. If I'm an authority on something, chances are I'm not really going to have to use notes. Why? Because I'm the author of it. It's coming from in here. I may use notes to keep me organized, but I don't necessarily have to use notes. I'm going to be showing you ways that you can present, stay organized, stay clear, stay on track without using notes. So when you speak with authority, one of the things that you'll probably end up doing is you'll be able to speak without notes. And when you don't have notes, you'll feel free. But there's a way that you can prepare for your presentations, right, so that you can speak with authority, still be organized, still stay on track, but not have any notes. So you can have notes or you can choose not to have notes. But Speaking with authority gives you the ability to speak without notes. And we'll talk about that whole thing in another Periscope. What else does it mean to speak with authority? When you speak with authority, you can look at your audience in the eyes. Right? You can connect with them because, again, you don't have to look down and look around at your notes and go, oh, wait a minute, I think, ah, what was it I wanted to say? I think I forgot. What? I, let me go back and look at it. No, I can look at you and I can speak because I've internalized whatever it is I'm going to say. It comes from here. When we're doing a periscope, I don't have a whole bunch of time to look down at notes. All right? I've got to be looking at you. So speaking with authority gives me the ability to make eye contact, to connect with you, the audience. What else does it mean to speak with authority? Speaking with authority gives me the ability to be flexible and free, to be flexible and free with my content, right? I can interact with you. If you ask me a question, I can stop, I can go and I can answer that question and I can come back. Why? Because I've internalized the information. I'm the author of it. It's coming from me. You've probably heard people, you've probably talked with people who are presenting somebody else's stuff. Now, to one degree, we're all doing that, right? But if you're presenting someone else's stuff, people know it's not quite coming from you. So you need to make it yours. Whatever you're talking about, make it yours. Internalize it so that you can speak 
to it and speak from your heart, speak from here. Internalize your information. So a couple of things that we've talked about so far is, is you want to be able to speak to present with authority. And I'm not done with this subject, we're just going to stop for today. You want to be able to speak with authority because it gives you greater freedom, it gives you greater flexibility to make contact, to interact with the audience. It projects greater confidence. People think that you know what you're talking about, right? Know what you're talking about because you're not looking down at notes and all over the place. These are just a few reasons why you want to speak with authority and what speaking with authority means. We're going to continue with this in our next Periscope, what it means to speak with authority and what you can do, right? how you can prepare, if you will, so that you can speak with authority. Does anyone have any questions so far? This is one of those foundational pieces that you really, really want to know because when you're doing presentations at work, then guess what? People are going to want to know that they can trust you. They're going to want to know that you know what you're talking about. So someone just asked me, will I be doing these periscopes at a certain time? I've been thinking about that and my goal is to try to do them at around 11 o'clock Pacific time, which would be 11, 12, 1, 2, around 2 o'clock Eastern time, right? 11, 12, 1, 2. So around 11 o'clock. If I have a, a coaching client during that time, then I won't be able to. But I'm going to try to do them around 11 o'clock daily, except for the weekends. I may slip in a few on the weekends, but yes, I try to do them daily, okay? So anyone have any other questions? Thank you for that question. Any other questions? Good. You're going to be able to get a recording of this. Go to my website, click that link, it'll take you to YouTube, and you'll be able to see the recording of this as well as seeing it on Periscope. Uh, you're more comfortable today on the Periscope. Awesome. I wonder why that was. Um, why were you more comfortable? I'd love to talk with you about that, and I believe that was Stephanie, so I'm sure that we'll get a chance to talk. Thank you all so much for joining me. Please. Uh, join me in my future Periscopes. We're going to be going deep into this stuff. If you've been thinking about doing your own Periscope or you just want to be able to present live better, right, more clearly, more confidently, then you're going to want to check me out because I'm going to be sharing stuff with you. It's going to help you do that. This is Michael Williams, Periscope Speech Coach, and you can search and find me under Periscope Speech Coach. Go ahead and follow me, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, Stephanie just said because you try to remember the framework. That's why you're able to be more comfortable. Yeah, we're going to talk about that. Thank you very much. Look forward to seeing you all in the next one.